It's late in the night and I'm I'm home <laughs> and I'm about to make a cup of tea and you might notice that I'm absolutely scared of all the insects and here it is my huge fear why on earth would he sit here? I don't understand. I don't understand. Boyding, did you do that? No. Yes, it was you. I was just scared of this is why I asked you. Being very suspicious right now because he was asking me, ah, oh, can you make a cup of tea for me, please? And he reminded me about this tea like four times. <laughs> Good morning! Today is um, day number 13. Uh, I'm early at the house because a good friend gave me a lift and he drove me together with all those wonderful buckets which I will fill with all the garbage I am scraping off the floor. This is good. And have some fresh bread from the bakery and beautiful beautiful wisteria baby and i have to find place to plant her i'm not really sure if she's big enough to go into the into the open soil i will leave her for maybe a couple of days or weeks until i find a good place for her and maybe you can help me and tell if she's big enough to go in the ground <laughs> thing is that these little things, they scare me to death <laughs> because they're everywhere. <laughs> yes, I know. Can you hear the bells? It is so lovely. Yay! Ah, oh, here is the garden and lots and lots of uh, haycocks. They're jumping and running everywhere. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. I'm so happy to be here early. So that means I can start early and I can do more things today. <laughs> Talking about magnolia subject. <laughs> Because I really love the idea of magnolia. It was in my wish list because the magnolia grandiflora, the one that is evergreen and has beautiful big flowers in July. I don't know, there is something about this magnificent tree. I'm just dreaming of it. And uh, the corner for magnolia tree, this one. And yes, it will grow very tall. But you will see from this window here, there is actually no view, it's just neighbors. So I think there is nothing bad if we have a huge magnolia tree like that growing here. On a good distance from the window, because there is a path here and it will cover all this like messy things. I'm not sure, of course, it's just one of my ideas and I might change my mind, but for now, it's the winner. <laughs> and talking about the garden. So in the morning, we have sun coming from this hill and this is the only time we have sun here on this terrace and a little bit of sun here because after the midday after 12 o'clock it's all in shade like all this part of the garden is in shade deep shade here and the only places with sun are edge of the garden and this upper terrace 
all this terrace is sunny, which is good. So this ugly corner needs something to be planted for privacy and something that loves shade because this corner has only three hours of sun as maximum. I thought today I would love to share with you my plans for, um, for downstairs bathroom. Talking about bathrooms, there are three, no, there are two bathrooms and one little, little toilet on a balcony here. <laughs> this is something very typical in Italy and Spain. You have, oops, sorry, you have this, oh, sorry, I'll go in the shade. You have those additional little toilets in a balcony. But today I will share with you my plans for this bathroom on this terrace we have this door that leads in we call it cave <laughs> because it looks like a cave and it smells like one and it always covered every morning i arrive there are spider webs here <laughs> so the cave which originally has been a laundry room maybe in future we will make um another toilet here maybe not we don't know yet and then we have entrance to the house which leads to the basement floor with kitchen one room cantina and a bathroom and the bathroom is those tiny windows let's go and see inside i'm dying to start cl cleaning and painting all the metal work this is like a very tempting project. Entering here, we have a door, then we have a little corridor, which is, there is no need of this corridor, but we cannot destroy this, we cannot demolish this wall because the size of it, and it's, we can, we just can't touch it. But we have to do something with this corridor. I haven't decided yet what to do with it. I don't know, maybe toilet, but there is no sense of making toilet here. I don't know, I don't know. And here is a bathroom, um, downstairs bathroom, with beautiful, beautiful vaulted ceiling. I love it, with horrible, horrible floor tiles, even worth these tiles. The only thing I love about this bathroom is vaulted ceiling, those traditional things, um, windows, and probably the size of it, it's very nice size. Right now, there is no water or electricity in the house. We have to connect it in September because we agreed to go to this company and blah, blah, blah. So September it is for the, <laughs> for the big reveal because it, it will be a surprise. We don't really know um, what works in the house, what doesn't work because it was abandoned for 10 years. And we don't really know um, if we have a septic tank or we connect it to the public waste system. <laughs> we use the toilet and with just bucket of water bring from, from the spring. It works. It works well. No problems so far. <laughs> but we will be having an engineer in September who will check all the pipes and systems and tell us what's going on. <laughs> uh, my plans for this bathroom, it will be one of the first projects uh, once we have electricity, because we obviously need some, some tools to take all the tiles, uh, to clean the paint, to remove those tiles and 
my idea is just to just to render nice and smooth all the walls and do mural paintings. I want to play with the idea that this bathroom has a vaulted ceiling and it is the same building as the cave next door. So it was exact same building in stone and very dark and with this funny smell of a cave. <laughs> uh, so I embrace that and bring back that old look of it. And I will put some pictures I like, so you can see what are my ideas for this bathroom. Could I already put on the wall Mr. Pigeon. This pigeon travels with us everywhere. <laughs> it was... And the funny thing that this painting always goes to the bathroom. Like, everywhere we go and we live in a place, this one will find its place in bathroom. <laughs> this is very funny. Yeah, Mr. Pigeon? I'm so tired. I was clearing the tiles. <laughs> I have flakes of glue everywhere. And now it's time for my lunch. It's delicious sandwich with salami, tomatoes and cheese, olives and some water. It feels very, very good because the floor is starting to look like a beautiful floor, <laughs> though it needs lots and lots of work ahead, but it's something now. My today's progress with the tiles looks like that. I've cleaned this area and then I've done this piece in the salon and it took me five hours <laughs> it is very slow now i'm thinking i would love to clean this piece today and i have a couple hours for that For now, this method works really well. I don't damage tiles. And yeah, it works. The only thing is it's just very slow. Once I have electricity, it will be much, much faster. Exciting moment. I have not only one, I have two helpers. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. We have shutters being dusted <laughs> and this wall will be clean soon. Here in a staircase corridor we have these beautiful stone steps and then it is covered with this grey paint. And today we, and today Charlotte started peeling off paint and plaster. And it looks like we have stone underneath, which is absolutely amazing. Because I was worried it is something ugly there and we have to think about it and cover it or plaster. But if it's stone there, it's just amazing. It makes everything easier. We just have to unpeel all the plaster and paint and just treat stone and walls. And that's it. Easy peasy. <laughs> it's probably work for next three months. <laughs> I uncovered one area under the step and you definitely can see that this is the stone but then 
I already took off this white plaster like that and then there is this dark thing and it is loose and I'm a little bit scared and you can see it is loose it is and I'm a bit scared that it has a crack and if I take off all these things the whole thing will collapse <laughs> well I don't I hope it is not let's uncover just a little bit uh. It has to go because it is so loose, it can't stay. And it doesn't look really like stone, It's it looks like old plaster to me, maybe it is. Yeah. So tomorrow I will continue this step. And maybe I will uncover this one so I can start planning on this test. Again, I'm late. I promised myself that I will go home early today, but no, I'm still here because it's like, oh, just a little bit more, a little bit more. And then I'm stuck two more hours <laughs> on peeling different layers of paint and plaster and hoping that the house won't fell down <laughs> but honestly I love this time of the day and going back home with the sun tomorrow is two weeks since I started doing vlogs about our renovation and I really like it so I hope you enjoy my little stories and I see you tomorrow. Bye.